530, Call 6 Investigates has uncovered newly released documents in a deadly case of alleged child abuse. A father is accused of dropping his baby on the floor and setting a fire to cover up the death. Call 6 Investigates' Kara Kinney joins us with the paperwork that shows people tried to warn the Department of Child Services about Corey Wallace. Kara? That's right, Erica. Prosecutors say four-month-old Jensen Wallace died from blunt force trauma. We requested and received Corey Wallace's history with the Department of Child Services. Now, much of these documents are redacted, but what we can tell is that people were concerned about Wallace abusing and neglecting children. Documents show DCS found Corey Wallace responsible for child neglect back in 2012. In 2013, the agency closed a child in need of services case for the Wallace household, but it's not clear what that case was about. Now, in November 2014, the agency investigated another allegation of physical abuse and child neglect and did not find those allegations to be true. Months later, prosecutors say Wallace dropped his baby on the floor, killing him. We asked to speak with DCS about the Wallace case. They declined to, to talk about it, but agreed to talk with us in general about their procedures. Do you have the power to remove children if you believe that they're in danger? A family case manager is able to assess safety and if there are concerns that the child may be unsafe, then that family case manager would use the team around him or her to decide if the child should then in fact be removed. There is a need for a judge approval to confirm that the removal should have occurred. When a child dies, does your agency look back at what maybe it could have done better? Anytime we receive an allegation of abuse or neglect in general, the department takes a really detailed and thorough look at the family and their history and what can be done to ensure safety. When a child unfortunately dies, there is a very detailed multi-layer approach to reviewing that case and to you know doing that on the county level as well as the state level. A month before baby Jansen's death, Corey Wallace was convicted in Marion County for neglect of a dependent. He was sentenced to home detention and probation, but we don't see anything in his sentence that prevented him from being around his children. Now, we've reached out to Wallace's attorney for a response, but he declined to comment. We've also requested an interview with the judge who sentenced Wallace to home detention in that child neglect case. I'm Call 6 Investigates' Kara Kenny. Kara, thank you. We